What's up, everyone? Astroburn here, coming 101. Uh, got a request. The 1980s original. Very first ever. I'm um, pretty sure I spot something that is not 88, but we're going to talk about it anyways. So, funny story. Feel free to ignore this story. So, what is going on here is, is that these were actually were given to me when I was like, like, probably, oh man, 2007, I'm guessing. And the reason why I'm doing this again is because people are so asking questions more about these Ninja Turtle toys and the differences and everything else. Um, I was at Blue Eyes DJ and this guy brought me back outside and he said, hey, I got something for you. And I'm like, okay, cool. So he hands me a whole bunch of original the turtle cards I'm like mind blown like holy crap are you freaking kidding me as you can see never been punch this is the original card and I miss the original cards look at the artwork like literally look at the artwork original man just original I mean I am tattooing the original artwork on me, and it's, I know a lot of people are like, why? It's because I can. I mean... Look how great it looks. I always wondered, like, it was weird how Leonardo's torso is a lot more darker than the arms, legs, and the head, right? Well, if you really know about it, it does have like a waxy feel to them. I do have them open, so don't think I don't know what I'm doing here. <laughs> I have reviewed these so many times in different ways. Now, it sucks that we can't really see the back parts to say made in or whatnot. But yeah, these... A lot of people think these are bootleg ones when they have the wax body. But it's not true. So not just a head that is actually waxed or rubber and soft heads, that's what they call them. But remember, there's also wax body. And that's why they look like that. Like when you feel them, like it feels, literally it feels like it's wax. Now, to the back is the original card part. However, this is not the original card. I mean, the, the original first print is what I'm saying. But like you can tell on their initials were never painted, which I wouldn't mind that. And then you got the bad guys, Bebop and Rock City. And I don't know what it is, something about the shredder, like right here, it looks so much better than what they made them into. You know what I mean? Like I love the paint job way much better. You got the Leonardo ha Heroes in a Half Shell. Age 16. Remember people were like complaining about the Michael Bay thing like, oh, that's stupid, they're bulletproof now? Oh my god. Well, look at the shell. Bulletproof. Shock resistance. There he goes. How are you? I mean, at least he's been paying attention, you know what I mean? No matter how dangerous the stupid... Leo doesn't matter. Stick his neck out. I mean, this is so cool. I missed him doing stuff like this. And then, of course, he got the original piece of points. Mm -hmm. Made in China. 1988. Join the fan club. See, there, the reason why I said this is not the first print is because there is no um, fan club card in here. Just nothing in it. Now, also, don't forget there's a pop-up version out there. The pop-up version has, like, the, the characters on it, so you look like it's fighting up, fight against it, like Shredder or whatever. Now, that's... Those are hard to find. Those are really, really hard to find. So if you have 
the pop-up version, guys, straight up, guys, just don't open them. The weird part is, remember how Baxter Stockman came out in 1989? Well, before 1989 came around, there was a Baxter Stockman 1988 with the pop-up card. Like, that was like the demo. Like, here it is. If this guy makes it, we'll continue selling them. So, yeah, like I said, there's a tons of them. Not only that, there's also another one with a set of Leonardo on her with weapons on her. There's one with a the shell one that says Leonardo. And on top, there also there's one that says Leonardo as well. And on the back card, there's oh my god, there's like so many different prints on the back card. Like like the reissues ones. Like everything's in black and white, or it doesn't have the the portrait of Leonardo on here. It just has like the weapons only on the on the back, and then you got the one where they're all a bunch of pizzas and their little faces and the pepperoni. I mean, there is tons, a tons of those kind of version. So, when you go on eBay and you want to buy these original ones, make sure they have more pictures than just the front end, because they will say, "Oh, original 1988 card." Okay, well, make sure there's another picture that shows the back. If it doesn't show this right here. It's not official. Now there's another one out there, Leonardo one. Um, it looks like this, but also it says include mutu re retro mutagen ooze with baby turtle, and it'll be on the side. So you gotta pay attention before you start buying. I mean, I would still buy them no matter what. They could say yeah, it's original, but I, if you know what you're buying, keep your eyes open for that because that could be really tricky. No. Let me bring out that is not 1988, okay? This is not 1988 foot soldier. The reason why I said this, I mean, let me, let me show you around real quick. And also, don't forget, there's other um, card ones where it said how it's all yellow and everything. There's one where it's all orange, and that's going to cost a lot. That was like the original artwork print before they... Well, they call it because they put too much ink into the yellow. I'm like, no, I don't think that's what happened. But the original print, the orange back. So those cost a lot. And I'll show you. I got one right here. It's coming up soon. So here's a foot soldier look. look if you pay attention, they have claws. Did anybody ever notice that? Like, literally, the foot soldier has claws to rip you to shreds. Of course, you know, the foot soldier can't have that. Hey, what's up, guy? How you doing? But, um, yeah, so obviously they couldn't do that because the kids would scratch themselves. And, yes, the little armor blue thing right there is made out of turtle shell. Foot soldier, weapons, bless it. So. Yeah. And then not, even, not even in a cartoon they have claws. But look at it, you can see a claw right there. And if you pay attention to this part... What do you see that is not supposed to be there? Now, I know a lot of people are like, don't they already have that? But they had a different weapon, a different blade. Like this one right here, Rocksteady Blade is in the Foot Soldier. As you can see, it attached to it. Um, by the way, I forgot to mention, because I know a lot of people were talking about this and they didn't know about this. Uh, that brown part right here with all the weapons and all that, that's your weapon holder. So if you could figure out how to like standing up on a wall you can put your sword your ninja stars in those little holes yeah so to let you know those are your weapon holders as well these ones you can't really do too much with their weapon holder not only that the weapons are on backwards on here now the reason why I said this is not a 1988 foot soldier because it has this each and every one of them has this kind of style. I was trying to explain this, but I'm like, nah, I'd rather show it to you guys later. But look at it. Oh yeah, by the way, it's not punched. It's a little torn a little bit, but it's not too, too bad. So you got just all these bad boys right here. What's going on, dude? And then a lot of people probably spot this. Yeah. Do, 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 do. Yeah, look at it. Wing bass painted differently. And then, you notice how there's only one Dontello with Sword Shell? Because he was the very, very first 
If you've noticed, his eyes are actually painted like he has eyeballs, like uh, pupils, whatever you call it. Um, this was the very first demo for Source Shell, and boy, do they became a hit and decided to make more later on down the line. Of course, Casey Jones accessories. I think, now call me wrong on this one. I think Casey Jones looked a lot better yellow accessories. Baxter Stock with red eyes. Yeah, here's his weapons right here. See the knife? That's the original knife of Foot Soldier. Right there. Weapon rack, but look at it. See, that's a weapon? They give me rock steady instead. Isn't that crazy? That's really crazy. So, of course, the portrait right here. Height six feet. Age, we don't know. Look where he's from, Nebraska. Of course, this was 1990. 1990. You want to get the right one. Doesn't even have to be in the 1988 ones. Make sure you want to get what you need to get. Let's see, what else can we get? There's some Donatello right here. Once again, no fan made paper. And look at the deed. The deed's a little bit cool looking. I'll show you the other ones out there because I got more of these hidden in the back. But look at how cool they look. I love these. I, you gotta admit, just the original card itself, you missed the artwork. Now they're all over here in the corner and it's like, eh, no, nah, no. Nah. <laughs> but these are the comic book, original comic book colors. You can see their um, weapons right here. Of course, the bag is original. Oh, look at it. Totally different. So look at it. Check us out. If you haven't noticed, Leonardo, the leader, is 16 years old. Donatello, however, is 15 years old. Harsh, hard as tank armor. So his armor is a little bit different than Leo. Weighs 145 with shell. Leonardo weighs 155. Leo's 151 on two legs. And he is four inch, or yeah, on two legs. So Leonardo's taller than Donatello. Birthplace. Let's check out his birthplace. Joe Pets place. Birthplace. Ah, Cheesecake Bay. So what does that tell you guys? They're not blood related. Isn't that crazy? What else have we got? So we got two birthplaces, different age, different height. Somehow, Donatello ended up being the shortest one right here. I wonder if anybody actually paid attention when they actually read these things. Because here's Raphael. As you can see, wax body. You can tell how it looks. Looks all weird, huh? With the dented eyes. No club fan made male thing on there. Here's Raphael's pictures. You might remember seeing all these in the comic book, but different style. Raphael, right there. The popular pose right there for Raffi. Same thing in the background. We got the different story. So it's kind of weird how they're all made in or born in different uh, um, places and stuff. So let's look at Raffi. He's 5'1". So he's absolutely taller than Donatello. Put Donatello over here. So 5'1". 5'1 on two legs, so 
Like it doesn't even say on 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 foot either. Oh, that's right, huh? Dude, you better believe I'm going to get those. I have been dying to get those. Raphael's 147. Leo still weighs the most. 150. Birthplace, Shelly, Pet City. Look at that. Totally in different place. Location and everything. Bulletproof. Hard as old chewing gum. It's weird. So... Leonardo is still the biggest, the tallest, and then Raphael's right underneath it. So let's see. Let me see what Michelangelo's made in. Here's one is completely waxed out. I mean, look at his face. Look how. See, that's what it would mean by wax. And his weapon's on his side. Look at that, look at it. Here's the artwork. I love my glacial artwork right here. Oh, we have a pizza. And a popular pose right there of Michelangelo. So, where are you from? Birthplace, Woody Pet Shop, Pennsylvania. Look at, they're all born in different location. Age. Or wait, height is five. So how tall is Dontello? Dude, Dontello is the shortest. We got four. Then we got five. Age. Okay, so wait. Fifteen and a half people years. Oh, I, I have done uh, Rise of the Turtles. There's a lot of them I put on there. You can check them out too, man. So 15... Hard and polished to a waxy finish, which she does look waxy. So, 150, and he weighs more than Donatello. Like I said, they're all born in different places. Man, that kid must have been going to different areas. So, Leonardo's the biggest and oldest. Raphael is the next oldest. Michelangelo is not the baby. He's... The next thing over, and then Don and Tello is the youngest and the shortest too. So that's completely different compared to all the other turtles we ever known. Obviously, they're not blood related. So that is pretty cool. I don't know if anybody actually read through the bio or remember reading through it. So there's your order in uh, the oldest to the youngest and to the tallest to the shortest. There goes for that. And then, of course, Foot Soldier. It's not made in Japan. It's actually made in Nebraska, of all places. What else do we got? Let's talk about the Shredder. Dead Man. Cutting armor. I never understood why Shredder has no shirt. You know what I mean? Mass is all like twisted. On punch again. Most popular artwork of the shredder. Even though his spike on the shutter is just falling off, looks like. Here's a shredder. Like I said, I I prefer I prefer the demo version artwork. I mean, look how cool he looks. You got the pinkish kind of robe. We got the purple robe. We got the dark navy blue armor, like the spikes. It's a little lighter than that. His mask is purple. I don't know. That's like a dark purple to me. He looks more pissed off in this picture. And this one, he looks kind of confused with those weird looking eyebrows. So, I don't know. That's just me thinking. But... I prefer this demo color. Looks so much better. He is six foot. He's from Japan. Weighs two hundred pounds. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Once again, the background. 
Um, if I do have a review on this as well, the new version of the, well, I got the 19, what was it, 1999, believe it or not, of the Shredder in 1988, or 1998, sorry. And then there, and I did another one, the anniversary one of this one. Remember he, they were posing him like this with no pants? Dude, I was like, oh, we got a stripper naked Shredder, Okay. And I looked at it, and they actually did paint the pants on him. However, they did two different things with him. Because his ankle was all twisted, all weird. Like, it was, like, bent wrong. That was the first print of the anniversary one. And then the next print is that they actually fixed the foot. So it makes it look a little better. So there's a different color of uh, Shredder, just to let you know. There is a darker one. There is a tan version of Shredder. Like, he's, like, getting a suntan. Hard head, soft head. I mean, the list just goes on and on. <laughs> you know, um, I did see one with the purple chest one. It's kind of like uh, like a lighter purple than this. Um, the lady who was selling it would not let me check it out. Like, l not let me hold it in my hands. So I'm, I might sketch you on that when people don't let you touch the toys before, unless you bought it. Because either A is a bootleg version, or they paint himself and they know you'll scratch the paint off so to see if it's real or not. So I do know what you're talking about. So it might be a bootleg version with the purple chest one. Oh no, of course, don't forget the Toon Shredder. The Toon Shredder is just this shredder, but repainted better. Way better. Um, I don't know why they didn't paint, go with that paint job instead of this one. But, um, yeah, there is a bootleg version out there, so keep your eyes open for that. That was, God, well, I can't remember. The last time I saw the Shredder were the purple chest. That was, dang, 2001, I would have to say. That was the last time I saw that one. And I regret not getting it, and I, you know, never saw it since. It, it's totally gone. There's also another one that was a bootleg one where... The, the the armor was all green like kind of like poop green and it was just weird looking so yeah like i said bootleg i know we're not supposed to support the bootleg stuff but you know it's one of those one of a kind kind of toys and um yeah i regret not getting those so keep your eyes open for those but um yeah i prefer them like this dude. i don't know what you guys think the way we have it now or this version I still don't understand why they didn't paint his chest. I mean, where is those hooks or his armor attaching to? I mean, is it stabbing to his arms? You ever thought about that? And look at, see how he has his hand painted with the with the um thing, purple part right there. The 2012 turtles, where they're not, they didn't even have that in their hand. I even asked playmates why, and they said that because every time you have the weapon in their hand, it peels right off or it paints off and everything. And I'm like, and I even wrote back to the ladies like, that's kind of a crap because my 1988 Shredder one, I keep putting weapons in his hand. Not once the paint job came off because I was moving the weapons in his hand. So I don't know what kind of paint job they're using these days or she's just BSing with me. But yeah, that's the kind of mail order I got, I guess. You, no, I'm not mail order. The mail I got from, uh, from the link. All right, I got some more coming in. I'm not going to do all of them because I already did the anniversary one. All right. Let's see which one I want to do. Stupid, stupid, stupid. Yeah, I'll just do this one. Now, this is the one I was talking about. The original artwork in the background. As you can see, we may not get an anything. Around a target may or may not be. Dude, I don't know. I was kind of wondering if the, um, the NCA Turtles are coming in for Toys R Us. Oh, not Toys R Us. Target. Because it might not come into stores. It's one of those things you may have to order online. But yeah, GameStop is definitely going to be um, hauling them. And so the question is, how much are they going to be? You know what I mean? Because you go online, they're like over 100 bucks and everything. So let's hope 
Let's hope, you know, the GameStop's pretty nice to the collectors and maybe 30 bucks, 20 bucks, something like that. Yeah, um, I don't know about the dumb part, but I know the foot soldier is, be, is coming out soon. And I, I don't know if I posted it or not, but there's a picture of the Shredder coming out, the movie Shredder, and it looks sick. Like, oh my god, it's beautiful, sick. So yeah, keep your eyes open for the Shredder as well. He's supposed to be coming out. And the rumors going around, I think it's costume made, but there's words going around that Casey Jones is going to be made too. But um, anyways, um, so here's the original card on a punch. April O'Neil, of course, there's one with just doesn't have her name on there. There's one with doesn't say his weapons, which is a blank um, um, shell right here. Favorite turtle? Truthfully, it depends on what series. If it's the original series, like the comic book, Michelangelo and Raphael, um, 19, the cartoon version, Michelangelo, Raphael, and then Donatello, and then Leo. Uh, next mutation. Ugh. Let's see. Next mutation, favorite turtle? Hmm. That's a good question. I had to come back for that one. 2003. Oh, it's going to be Raphael. I didn't like Michael Antrick. He's too cocky in that one. Oh, my God. He was annoying me. So, it would be Raph, Leo, and then Raph, or Don. And then 2012 is always going to be Michael Angelo, Raphael. And then Leo, and then Don. And then this version, a new one. I would have to say Leonardo is my favorite one in the new one. Leo, Don, then Raph, then Mike. So that's about it. It depends because you know they're all have different personalities and everything. But um, so as you can see, the car is kind of fade a little bit, and it's not sun damage. Don't think that's what it is. And this is definitely not smoke damage because you can see on the side and everything. Um, oh yeah, and April O'Neil's name will be up here as well. There's so many different kinds. But as you can see, like how the yellow is in the background. There's also orange background, and these one costs a lot of freaking money. So if you come across the old school one, and it has that orange, kind of reddish kind of color in the background, dude, you gotta get your hands on those. If they don't, if they don't cost too much, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Uh, and this one right here is just a regular April O'Neil with the blue stripes on the sign. Her gun, her camera, her microphone, Ninja Star suitcase to put her stuff inside so like i said get these as soon as possible she is 5'5 five five, weighs 115 probably because her boobs are so big um birth the valley oh my god the valley she is 25 years old oh my god i'm older than in april jesus i'm older than april how awkward is that so yeah she's always getting into trouble crazy girl and of course you got another one look how much they cost back then man can you believe that 495 and now we're paying like eight dollars and ten dollars and 20 bucks it's like oh my god this one however has a punch out and as you can see once again the background is orange Look at that. Blue Stripe April. Not original. Remember, there's one without the blue stripes. Decided to put the blue stripes because it looks so plain. It's like, oh, you know, let's just add on to it. Same thing in the background. I can't believe I'm older than April. Is there anything different with this one? Let's find out. Well, with her eyes, is looking straight ahead. And this one, she little, she's a little cross-sided. Just a tad bit. Less lipstick on this one, more lipstick on this one. Let's see. Looking, looking, looking. Hmm. Besides the obvious, I mean, you can tell the difference in the colors. This one's a darker green, this one's a little bit lighter green. Oh yeah, I didn't even know it's the price of Walmart. Three ninety four. So this must be from Kmart. <laughs> so 
Yeah. Oh, look at look at the card. See the the, the shell is above her head. The shell is on top of her head. So there's a difference right there. However, don 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 got three going on right here. This one had this one's unpunch. This one's a little bit darker. This one has no pricing to it. Her eyes seems a little bit straightforward. And of course this one is levitating above her head. Same thing in the background. So yeah, there's one floating on top of her head. So I got three Aprils in the original package with the orange background. So, however, I don't have Bebop and Rocksteady in their package. I am, and especially I don't have Splinter in his package. I need to go look for that as well. I got tons and tons of the 1988's Turtle Toys. I think I got like maybe five, eight, five, hmm, five Raphael's, maybe eight Leonardo's, 12 Michelangelo's. So, yeah, that's like I said. Keep your eyes open for all these guys. Seriously. Let me go and get the other box. I'm pretty sure you remember this from the first live video ever. Plan on getting a whole bunch of these. I got like maybe four of these boxes and two of the second print ones. So, if you remember these things, scratch them and they smell like pizza. And weird thing, it still does. So, I got this one at the thrift store, I believe. And as you can see in the back, it says Made in China. This is a hard head one. Deep print eyes. And you find a belt for them. Here's my other April. And it has that brown color all over it. A lot of them do that. I don't know why, but they all have brown spots. It's not dirt or anything. And as you can see, there is no um, blue stripes or whatsoever. Here's another Raphael and squeezable head. Uh, I did a review him, of him already with his uh, armor, the new one, 1988. And this is Mako, Mako, whatever, however you pronounce it. Then Michelangelo over here, Harhead, T print eyes. Uh, this one, I think I got at the thrift store as well. No, a flea, uh, flea market. And then he has made in China. Dang, that scared me. Made in China. Future Joy. We already did a Future Joy. We did two of these because there's different um, prints on these guys. So if you want, go ahead and look up um, in my folder the Future Toy one, 1990, right? Yeah, 1990. Because there's like different prints and different ways they made it. I found this at a thrift store, soft head, with the sewer Samurai Leo belt. I got anyways, 1988, made in Mako. I don't think I have anything in the back. Let me double check. I got mutated splinter. Now, when you get your hands on this kind of um, collector case, uh, like online or something, it's cool to have them for your collection. It looks pretty cool when you have them all lined out and everything. But truthfully, Make sure that you look inside of it and make sure they have to have pictures of it because you want two of these things, okay? Two of them. Not one, but two. And everybody's like, oh, this is rare. Well, where's the rest of this? They're supposed to have two of these. And they're like, oh, there's no, they never had two. That's how you know they're not, they don't know what they're selling. However, I'm going to check the background because okay, something in there. Last time I bought one of these collector cases. And, um, and they actually had two of them inside. I opened this up and there was a turtle um, um, parachute on the, in the back. And I needed one too because I had uh, the thing that you put me in. 
but I didn't have the parachute. And then I opened this up and I was like, whoa, you know, it's actually in it. Came off. Something just came off. Oh, yeah. Just be careful with these things. They do break a little bit easier. So we got to be careful when they crack, too. Um, be careful not to put these in the sun. I'm warning you guys straight up. Don't put these in near the sun. If the sun comes down and it looks like this, and the sun's hitting it, move the toys away or close the door or block your window. I don't care. Do something because it will dry these things up. It will color the makes the color all weird. It makes the color weird on that. And not only that, this little thing right here, the, the, the glue is holding the bubble, will peel off. It happened to a friend of mine, and I know he's upset. I do apologize, man. Sorry that happened to you. Um, just remember, like I said, just do what I said. Make sure there's a way where the sun won't get too hot because if it stays in that spot for hours and hours, it's going to do something to your toys. So you got to be very careful. And I know a lot of people are like, don't do this, but I know some probably do. You have all over it. Seriously, wipe that stuff off because it does little damage to the bubble card. So you got to be careful what you put on here. Some people put rubbing alcohol. I just grab a, uh, like a, like a, a wet towel, not too wet, a little bit damp, and then wipe it down to collect all that stuff. But first, before you start doing that, make sure you dust it off first and then get your wet rag because you might turn into mud. It's weird, I know. So I want to give that heads up to you guys. Please take care of your stuff and everything. Maybe you want to take it like me, take it to the grave, or maybe give it to your kids when you get older. You know, the fun stuff. So, um, most likely we will do these again, like a part three out of these guys, because like I said, there's more April out there in the same card. You'll see the same card and the new April, including the yellow one. Same thing with Shredder. There's same thing with the Turtles. If I find a fan club, um, little piece of paper in them, you'll see these guys again. The reason why I did part one, because the part one, like I said, the part one is the anniversary, which there's one right in here. This is the anniversary of the 1988, and I found these, all of them at Target, as you can see, 25th anniversary. I hate the card, how it looks, because they just put everything all together, and it looks so horribly put together. Wasn't created right. And the bonus DVDs are just the series one and two, or series one, episode one, two, and three, and four. Don't open it because of that. And this thing right here, and it's just totally tubular action. Um, don't bother to open it. All of this is just, hey, coming soon. Stuff like that. So this is what you'll see in the first one. It luckily, it has a hook right there. And this is what it looks like in the back. Posing like the same thing. They fixed on Tell's belt. Casey Jones with his thing. And Shredder. See, there's Naked Shredder right there, guys. Just in case you didn't know what I was talking about, Naked Shredder right there. That comes with Bubblegum Crank, which is supposed to come with the uh, Android medium size. And Slash with the one black belt. Now, think about this thing. At least I'm not a big fan of the card. However, Casey Jones was supposed to be released. I'm glad I was here. About to reboot some toys. Uh, picking them up a few turtles, including the piece story. Hell yeah, man. That is awesome. Totally awesome. I'm glad I could help out, man. Um, so, I had a proof on this one that Casey Jones never was released. People say that he was released and people got him, but yet I was waiting for this kid to prove to me that this was released. He showed me a Casey Jones toy. That this was uh, was it 2008, I believe. Yeah, 2008. He wouldn't prove the the year or anything like that. He just put it right there and said, "Yeah, see, I got it." But if you do have the 25th anniversary Casey Jones, I gotta see it. Please prove it to me with the year, and the maiden, and stuff like that. I gotta see it because, like I said, when uh, Peter Lord actually gave his copyrights out, they stopped making these, and that was the one that never came out. I never, people proved this, the Slash does exist, the 25th anniversary, never came across the Slash one. But however, by accident, while I was at Fighter Corners, I found a foot soldier to build my foot soldier's army. I got this, I was reviewing him, and I noticed that his says 2008. 
this was the last of my uh, mortgage studio toy. I couldn't believe it. I never, like I said, I never came across a fist soldier one in this package. But I did, and I got him open, though, but which, which is not a big deal. But like I said, Shredder does have his pants on. They did fix his foot because it was all jacked up. I found April and Neil at Ross, of all places. But the rest are all Toys, toys R Us. And no, yeah, Toys R Us and Target. That's 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 correct. Okay, sorry. So there's that. Um, so like I said, you'll see these guys re-return once I get the other turtle ones, including the second print and the third print cards of the 1988 ones. Um, I would put. I'm gonna once I get done and this starts loading up, I'm gonna put all the reviews that I have done of the 1988 toys only underneath this video so when you get done with this one and it's once I finish editing it or like adding stuff to it um, I will put all the reviews I've done the name of the toy and the link will be underneath it as well so including the open ones I have some open ones people have given to me stuff that I collected when I was a kid still I mean you, you'll see it all and you'll learn the difference between the rubber head and a hard, you know, the hard head stuff, because they're open, so you can have a better view on the neck, how it looks, and everything. And yes, these car, these mold of turtles are actually different than these guys. Different mold, different feel, less wax, stuff like that. So believe me, they're different. So that is it for now. Once I do some more. And like I said, there's my new shelf. We just put it up last night. It's not complete up yet because I want to put my Technodrome and my party wagon on this side. So I got to make some room for them. Pretty sure they'll fit up there. But that is it for these guys for the 1988 stuff. MOC. Um, dude, guys, thank you for watching. I know a lot of people jump in and jump off, but um, once I load this up, you can go back from the beginning and see what you miss out. Um, I try to repeat it for people who are jumping back on. You guys are awesome. You guys really are true, true viewers, man. This is super awesome. So, thank you. I appreciate. So that is it for now. I don't want to kill my battery yet in case I go out and go toy hunting. But that is it to be continued. And um, if you and like I said, I do. Um, toy review or request if you got a toy you want kind of curious about look through my stuff ask me if I have it or not I will tag you along with the video if I don't have the toy yet you know I'll hunt that down really really fast for you guys to add to my collection and to you know teach you what you need is to know about the toy so I go pretty heavy on this uh, review stuff so I know I talk a lot and I apologize, but you need to learn the differences. Just because you got the one toy, there's probably going to be like 10 different toys. Um, I even did. I don't know if I did. Oh, shoot. I don't know if I did. If I didn't, I will do it soon. I have the green jumpsuit of April O'Neil, the news van. Now, I don't have the van yet. I'm looking for a good, complete, not too pricey Channel 6 van. But I do have the April O'Neil toy. So, I don't know if I did review it or not, but if I didn't, it's, it'll be coming in soon, I promise. Um, so, that's it for now. To be continued, you guys are awesome. Thank you for watching. Straight up, guys. You're awesome, all of you.